Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to part two of Mega Man X6. I like this game. <laughs> anyway, we are starting the game at last. I've been waiting for this moment. So in X5, we already lost zero. So we only have X to play the game with, which is kind of suck. I want to play this game the same thing as I play with my Mega Man X5, dividing X and zero and give them equal opportunity and equal level but uh, sadly zero is dead so I cannot do that <laughs> come on zero where are you <laughs> anyway uh, so here are the eight mavericks or nightmare investigator that we have to go to and anyway the worst part about Mega Man X6, according to all players, is the nightmare system. And it's a popular belief that the nightmare system is totally random. But trust me, I played this game so many times as a kid, I know for a fact it's not random. And I'll explain it to you guys as we continue the game. But um, anyway, I'm taking on Shu Sheldon first. And once again, this game expanded upon the Reploid rescuing missions. So throughout the, the whole stages, you you will find yourself with a whole bunch of different Reploids that you have to save. And the thing that that is dangerous about this game, though, is these Reploids can be corrupted by those nightmares virus. So. If you see one next to a Reploid, you better rescue that Reploid really quick. Otherwise, you will lose that Reploid. And losing a Reploid is a very, very bad thing in this game. Because that Reploid might carry a part that will really help you in battle. And because this is a 100% playthrough, I will try to rescue all of the Reploid the best as I can. Anyway. That is the boss door. I'm not going through that. I'm going to the alternate pathway. So yeah. You probably know the reason why already, but um, I'll pretend that I I'll pretend that you never played Mega Man X6 before. So yeah. Anyway, in for this stage, there's no lasers that that there are no laser that you have to try to manipulate in a way what you do is what you have to do is you have to shoot as those spinning plate glass reflecting glass whatever you want to call it and the laser when they reflect like that they're gonna open up a new pathway for you or turn on a different laser so yeah see and yeah that's all I can say but the worst thing about extreme mode is they usually put the enemies in the worst possible place so you ha it's kind of tough not to get damaged while playing on extreme mode but if you can do that holy crap you are much better than I am anyway here press select I feel a little wind coming from somewhere near. So that's telling you there's a secret pathway somewhere. There's actually an invincible block that you can actually stand on and rescue that Reploid easily. Oh yeah, and there's that invincible block in the middle of the of the hole as well. How did I find that out? I have no idea. No idea. I think when I was a kid, because I want to kill that nightmare so much that I decided to go ahead and try to jump over and try to kill it and I got hit by it and then I got pushed back and I fall into that block right there I think that's how I know it's there so there's a tip that's invisible block and there's a block that you can actually stand on to rescue the other Reploid that is stranded higher on the higher ground than you if you stand on the lower ground you won't be able to rescue, rescue that Reploid at all Am I talking too much? I'm just excited about this game, man. I like this game. But, uh, yeah. 
Anyway, get yourself hit so you can get that heart tank right there. Ooh yeah, our first heart tank, folks. And uh, let's go to the alternate path. Um, those blue crystal they will take you to the alternate pathway and the alternate pathway every single stage in this game will have them and they can be very retarded to get anyway there's your energy tank wow a heart tank and an energy tank we are doing pretty good job of you if I do say so myself so yeah did you know I like this game? <laughs> Yeah, talk about it too much. Um, the reason why I go to the alternate pathway, you will find out very soon, folks. You will find out very soon. But I assume you know already. Anyway, there's a very important part that one of these Reploi in the outer pathway is holding. And that part is called Double Barrier. And you want that part as quickly as possible or as early as possible. <laughs> and I already got it by rescuing one of the Reploi in the alternate pathway in Shu Sheldon stage. So yeah. So this is the Maverick Nightmare Zero, whatever the hell you want to call him, that we see in the last part. And he's weak against the Z Saber by the way. And he fought exactly like Zero. He will have two Buster shot at you and then Saber Slash. It's a little bit different because he can teleport anywhere he wants next to you and slash you. But his slash is kinda... What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I just completely miss him with my Giga Attack. But uh, yeah, that's, the attack is kinda annoying. I don't know how to dodge it. But this boss is fairly easy. He is the same thing as Zero, but um, a little bit tougher if you haven't gotten used to him yet. Anyway, here come a reward that is so stupid to explain, but I try my best to do it. I'll just talk over this cutscene because it is so cheesy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought it last. In Mega Man X5, you clearly told me you have to die. To restore peace to the world, what are you doing here? But oh well, I'm glad you're back so I can play the game with you. <laughs> but um... Yeah, Zero came back is really, really a dumb and stupidly explained translation in the English... In the English localization of the game. It's more unfortunate. I hit myself while I tried to repair myself. With the help of Kiyoshi! How am I supposed to explain this better? This ability to self recover, allowing the disease to halt and for Zero to keep on resurrecting. And I'm positive, Zero has acquired the abilities of the Devil Gundam. With the help of Kiyoshi! <laughs> I mean, how else would you keep on explaining Zero coming back? I mean, he died on X1, X5, and all that crap. Holy shit. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. Enough joke. <laughs> it's time. The bromance is strong with this one. Finally, we got Zero back! <laughs> I'm too excited. But anyway guys, trust me, the script writer of this game forgot the part. <laughs> trust me, Zero hit himself while trying to repair himself with the help of Kyoji. Otherwise, that would be impossible. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, and I have a secret I have to confess. I like this game with the help of Kyoji! <laughs> so yeah. Finally, we got Kyo- <laughs> Not Kyoji. We finally got Zero back. Which means I can go back to my usual routine of Mega Man X5. I'll be playing alternately as X and Zero and K. 
God damn it, I forgot that loading screen. <laughs> Sorry about that. So anyway, I'm going back to the stage with good old Red Reploy Zero. Once again, Zero is a powerhouse which hits Z Saber or a Z Glow Stick because X decided not to give it back to him. But anyway, Zero is still a powerhouse. The fact that his Z Saber is very powerful and now his Z Buster is also super, super powerful. As you can see when I fight the boss himself. But um, yeah. Zero is very powerful in uh, offensive like he did in Mega Man X5. But his defense is shit. <laughs> so if you're gonna play this game with Zero, either you wanna go to Metal Sharp, play your stage, get the shock buffer, or play at Black Zero. Oh, on normal at least, if you play on extreme mode, what the hell are you thinking? <laughs> Not getting the shock buffer first. But anyway. Here's the boss. The stage is relatively short, so you don't really have to worry about it. And this is one big problem with Mega Man X6. Some stages are very short, and some are stupidly long. And trust me, most of the bosses are pretty lame. <laughs> That's all. Maverick hunters are supposed to be able to tell a Maverick from a Reploid. Our officers are not good enough. They could cut, <laughs> cost us everything. So Shu Shaodan was a bodyguard to an old scientist. And one day the scientist went Maverick and Shu Shaodan failed to protect him so he was disposed of to look like an accident. Accident. Blech. Anyway, my strategy for fighting Shu, Shu Sheldon with zero is getting close to him and then attack him with the Z Buster. The Z Buster is so powerful as you can see. It's taking down the Shu Sheldon like it's nothing. And right now he's really low health. I'll just kill him with the G Saber or the G Glow Stick. <laughs> so yeah. That's Shu Sheldon. I know there is actually a glitch or a technique you can use. So basically, you can cr you can uh, duck and start attacking. I think. No, no, no. You can press dash and attack at the same time simultaneously. So Zero will cancel out his saber slash, and the enemy invincible period is sucks, sucks. So I'll talk about it in the next part. I'm too excited right now. So, yeah, see you in the next part.